region that are here in Nashville. They come from everywhere to support this basketball team. Let's put on a show, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's put on a show. something they've not seen since Charles Barkley. Huh? Let's give them something they've not seen since Chris Porter. Huh? Let's give them something not seen since Sonny Smith. Let's make history, gentlemen. Let's Together on 3123. Three. history of Auburn basketball, the Tigers have played for a trip to the tournament championship only 11 times. Two of those occasions have occurred in the last five years under the watch of Bruce Pearl. The first time, the Tigers had nothing to lose. Not expected or really equipped to compete for a tournament title, but somehow, some way, they became the story of Nashville in 2015. This time around, they are more than equipped and capable. Hello again, everybody. In War Eagle. I'm Rod Bramble with Hall of Fame coach Sonny Smith. Inside Redstone Arena, back in our Auburn Sports Network studio, is Brad Law. The Florida Gators really are the only team this week that has scattered the chalk. The eight seed pulled off the upset over number one seeded LSU yesterday. Auburn manhandled the Gators on the Plains last month, but that doesn't matter in March. The Gators have tradition and history on their side. Auburn, well, it's simple. They have unfinished business to take care of. And we are good to go. Todd Austin, ball in the right hand. Steps in, crosses it up. Tap caught, controlled by Auburn. Tigers go from right to left. Florida looks to be playing man for man. Harper around the right side. Guarded by Johnson. 19 to shoot. Harper on the drive to the rim. Out to Okiki. Couldn't get the shot off. Out front to Bryce Brown. 13 to shoot. Bryce lost the dribble, got it back. Over it goes to Harper, down to eight. Harper to the top of the key, hesitates. Back to McLemore, couldn't shoot it. Kicks it off on the drive to Bryce Brown. A three on the way, long, re no, long rebound to Okiki. Back out to Bryce, to Anthony. Three from the wing for Anthony. Air ball underneath. Well, he Dunbar with the offensive rebound, but he stepped on the end line. Good defensive trip by Florida. Yeah, but good ball movement of the Tigers, and I think, I, I think we're going to see a lot more of that today. All right, so Nimhard will trigger in. He hit the winner yesterday against LSU. We're pressing. We're pressing to steal. Nimhard looking. Still looking. Finally gets it into Allen. We're making them work. We're going to be playing man for man. Bryce Brown on Nimhard. Bounces it ahead. Johnson with it. A couple of bounces and a handoff to Hudson. He's played well for him lately. Back to his old self. We're switching everything. Johnson feed it into the post. And dropping it, losing it, turning it over is Hayes. Here comes Auburn, Auburn and Harper. Harper down the lane, shovels it back. Left side, Dunbar, three, no. In there to get the rebound. McLemore just couldn't quite control. Good hustle by Anthony, though. That was a good look, at, and he was wide open. And I think I think we're going to get these. If we keep getting this open, yep. they may have us. They may have us shooting a little quick, but we're coming up to second shots already, too. Nemhard lobs it out, caught by Hudson. He's on the run now. He's got Anthony McLemore and Harper between him and the rim. Goes past both and banks it in. Anthony McLemore did not do a good job of protecting the rim. He was there, but he was too deep. Two nothing. Gators with the first bucket. 18:30 to go in the first half. Harper swings it around to the right, feeds it in to Okiki. Missed the shot. Rebound. To Hayes. Well, we got it wide open inside and a little bit tight. Chuma missed the shot. Hudson outside. Auburn's had good looks, haven't they? Every time the ball goes down the court, we get good looks. Allen with it now. 13 to shoot. Top of the key to Hayes. Hands it off to Allen. Works around the screen. Left side. Ball stripped. Out of bounds. Stripped by Harper into the Auburn bench. He took it away from Nemhard or knocked it out of Nemhard's hands. Only three seconds. Three shoot. seconds on the clock. Good defense without fouling now. They're going to get a, try to get a shot for Allen. They've, do, they've already done it on the first out-of-bounds play. Here he comes. Nemhard looking. Allen, catch, shoot three. Missed it off the back iron. Rebound tapped around and taken out of there by O'Keefe. 
Schumann doesn't have the numbers, so he pulls up on the way. Good rebounding by the Tigers. Good deflection by the Tigers. Harper directs traffic left side of the floor. Schumann takes it inside the arc left side. Cross court to McLemore. Three. Got it. Good passing to the Tigers. Throwing cross court passes to the men on the wings, and we're getting wide open looks. We finally knock one down. Auburn with the 3 2 lead. Early going. 17 23 to go in the first half. Hudson has it all the way. Dunbar out on him. Top of the key to Hayes. And uh, a handoff by Hayes. Guys falling all over the place. Handoff to Nimhard. He'll go underneath uh, Hayes, and will Kiki call for the foul. Reaching across the top, whether yep. you commit a foul or not, generally they're going to call. And that's what happened, though. Reaching over the top of a guy, dangerous thing to do. Schumann's had all sorts of foul issues in the first two games. and He's trying too an, hard. Yeah, he gets you an know. early one here. We know how hard he tries. That's probably what his problem is. I'll take that, won't you? <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> Here's Hudson on the lob out top. Auburn really trying to extend Florida off that three-point line. That is, that is one of the keys to the game is pushing them off the line. Hand off to Allen. He walked with it. So Auburn, like they did to Florida in the first meeting, Coach, are forcing some turnovers. So Florida normally takes care of the basketball. The two things they're trying to do, they're trying to keep them on one side of the court. They're also trying to push them out so they don't have rhythm to their offense. And that's worked real well so far. Only one basket on an inside guy. 3-2 Tigers. They have the basketball. Dunbar takes the handoff. Harper. Or Spencer in the game now. He'll hand it off to Brown. Rice out there at the top. Long three over Allen. Off the side left iron and it goes out of bounds. Down to our left. All right, we'll be all right. We are probing <laughs> with the three-point shot right now. We're not looking too good except for one, but we will keep doing it. 16-38. Nemhard bounces it up the floor. Angles left in the front court. On the sideline to Johnson. He's had 16 and 20 in this tournament. Out front to Hayes. Now to Hudson on the wing. Looks inside. Goes inside. Knocked away by Spencer. Ooh, they give it back to Florida. Thought it may have touched Hayes. I thought it did touch All the Hayes. way out. But they say Horace touched it last. And seven seconds to shoot for Florida. All right. Now, they, they do a split type situation and get the pop out guy. We got to watch that. There's the split. And the pop out guy gets the ball. Throw it out to Hudson. Five on the shot clock against Harper. Crossover. Bounces in the lane. Stripped. Off his leg. Out of bounds. Back to Auburn. Harper knocked it off Hudson's leg. And that's three turnovers in the first three-plus minutes forced by Auburn. Forced. Turnovers is the key, and you said it. Now, now we can get our offense into a little better rhythm. We're shooting awfully quick, but we're, we're probing with the three. Harper left side. 3-2 Tigers. Spencer out to get it around. It goes to Chuma. Back to Horace. Cross court to Harper. 15 to shoot. Rice comes out over a Horace screen. Three or a screen. Missed it long. And the rebound kicks out to Hudson. Perfectly ran play. Got the wide open three. Good screen to get him free. Hudson can't turn the corner. Throws it to Hayes right of the lane. He lost. Picked up by Spencer. Another Florida turnover. Harper up the middle of the floor. Then Spencer... And uh, Hayes get tangled up, lay up at the other end, good. And Horace, I mean, I'm not. Well, it, just it was an accidental, accidental trip is what it was. Yeah, Horace is a little banged up. And the, the referee was right beside it. I don't know if he thought it was nothing there or yeah. not. But I think it was incidental more than anything. Hey, but most time they'll go over to that monitor and stay about a week. Harper, I didn't do a very good job of describing that. Harper got the layup to go, so Auburn leads 5-2, to two, and that gets us to our first under-16 timeout. 15-32 to go in the uh, first half, and Auburn on top 5-2. to two. Horace is okay. He's back out there on the floor. He also took an inadvertent elbow to the chin in the middle of the lane down there, it looked like, and got tripped up. Gators get it in. Down by three. They've got another three-point shooter in the lineup now. Locke is in. He, he's there for three-point shooting. 38% on the year. Inside to Nimhar. Oh, what a run basket. Lay in. Nimhar's a heck yeah. of a player. That, that basket was made out of great effort. 5-4, Auburn on top. Okiki. Over it goes to Brown. Locke guards him. Brown down the middle of the lane. Dump off to Spencer, and he missed the dunk. He just flat out missed it. Nimhard the other way. Down the lane against Dowdy. Can't get there. Samir right on his hip. Don't foul him. 
18 to shoot. Nemhard lobs it into Hayes. Up and under. Good in the foul. Now Spencer a little bit off balance. Got the first on Horace. Gators lead six to five. They'll get a free throw here. I think he's hurt his lift. The jumping is just a little bit with the two falls he's had. That's yep. uh that'd be we really need that back because he can protect that rim for us. And rim protection, it looks like what we gotta have. Because yep. every basket they've scored has been at the rim. Every basket they've attempted but one. Hayes makes the free throw, gives the Gators a two-point lead. Checking in now is Michael Koru. 7-5 Florida, 14-39 to go in the first half. Well, Okoro is is a, is a very, very good player, but he, he's only averaging one point a game. McCormick right side of the floor, brings it back to the left, throws it to Bryce, back out front to Javon, round the horse to Samir. Can't get it to Chuma. Samir out there on Nimhoff. Goes to Javon McCormick. He's got it guarded Good by cool. Johnson. Screen up top by Spencer. Seven to shoot. Javon's got to get to work. Drives on Hayes. Floater up. Good. He got a mismatch. He knew what he was doing. He drove on the biggest guy on the floor. Did little teardrop floater over him on a great screen by Horace Spencer. Tied at seven now. 14 minutes to go on the half. Nimhard against Brown. 18 to shoot. Hands it off to Okoru. Almond switches up. Now to Hayes. Hands it back to Okoru. Drives it down the left side of the lane off the glass and good. All right, now they're getting awfully good looks. They're looks by people that are not high scores. 9 7, Florida up by two. McCormick at the top of the key. Goes to Bryce now, outside the arc. 17 to shoot. Mid lane to Spencer. Went up, had it blocked. Out of bounds off a of horse. Back to Florida. They blocked Horace's shot and he ran it down. If he left it alone, he'd have got it back. But he's such an effort player, he's going to go for everything. Horace uh, out, Anthony McElmore in. We're pressing now. Gators up by two. They're using their big man as a release. Right? We don't we don't cover him as he breaks back. Nemhart over the SEC logo. Outstanding freshman. Down, he's, he's, well, you got to watch him all the time. He's a great player. Here's Locke with it. Right by Dowdy. 12 to shoot around the corner. He'll shoot too good. Now he's a very, he's very good off the dribble. I've heard, but he only shoots 25 percent from the three-point line. Four-point lead for Florida. 11-7 with 12:50 to go. First half. McCormick to Macklemore. Over it comes to Brown. Mm, and a layup there. High screen on the wing by Chuma. Top of the key three by Bryce. Way off the mark. Chuma yeah, the offensive play. Out to Samir. Now to McLemore. Reset to Dowdy. They're yeah. guarding the three ball very well, Rod. They got pressure on us. Gators up by four. Javon turns the corner to the rim, lays it up and in, and out it went halfway down and came out. Get back. Great move by Javon. Locked for three on the catch. Shoot and go. Locke was known as a three-point shooter, but he's only shooting 25 this is, is percent from the line. But he's knocked down two big shots already. Coach Bruce Pearl wants to go ask Todd Austin why there wasn't a foul on the drive. Well, uh, Todd Austin's not going to call that, but he's going to call any touch foul around the basket. Uh, uh, Harper back in there for uh, Auburn. Bryce Brown gets a breather. Malik checks back in. Gators on a 12-2 run. They lead by seven with 12 minutes to go in the half. McCormick on the drive. It is a reach-in foul called on Florida. Hey. And there you go. You got your wish. Michael Coro well, reached in. They would have called a foul in if he'd have backed off and, and blinked his eyes at him because they, that actually was a jump ball. Yeah, I thought it was too, but uh, Auburn gets the call. And well, they need one. Gets a couple free throws here for Javon McCormick with 11.56 to go. And those, those guys had a chance to look up scoreboard and realize we hadn't shot a free throw yet. McCormick, first one down and through. Florida is six for seven from the field, Rod. We just got to we got to get our legs moving. We appear to be in position defensively, yep. but they're getting they're getting the ball shot over the top of us or thrown in. Second one rolls off, no good. And uh, Florida comes down with the rebound. It was uh, Hudson and Okoru who got tangled up, and Okoru was a little shaken up, and they stopped play. And 
So the Gators will now bring it up the floor. And he, he was shaken up because he walked on the play when he fell down. I thought he did too. You're supposed to give the ball to the other team on that, but. All right, so Florida will uh, trigger in now. Auburn down by six, 14 to eight. Pressing to steal. Gators six of seven from the field. Auburn just three of 12. And yet only down six points. That's oh, the good We're going to win this game, I believe. Okoro having a hard time. Oh, check that. Not Okoro, but Locke having a hard time getting it in. Finally does. And now Allen brings it up the floor for Florida. Guarded by McCormick. Picks up the dribble. Bounces it ahead to Hudson on the wing. Purifoy in. He'll guard Hudson. Hudson right of the lane now. Picks up the dribble. Holds it low. Flips it out to Bassett. Now to Hudson. Three. An open three. That's good. Anthony McLemore did not step in and force the guy out. He stayed back to cover the goal, which was a mistake, and they got a three-point shot out of that. We got we got to step up our defense on pushing them out on three-point shots. That's an only a 26% shooter out there, but when you're that open, it's he's still very talented. He gives his team a nine-point lead, 17 to eight. McLemore over to Harper. Auburn looks a little flat, I'll be honest with you. They really are. Tired legs stop look, but we'll get over that. Harper down the left side of the lane, underneath the basket. Turn around, baseline shot, good. He can bring us back. He looks up and see that we're down. You can see him go to work. His eyes get big, and he makes a great shot. 17 to 10, Auburn down by 7 with 10.41 to go. First half of play here in Nashville. Semi-final round, a quarter between the rings. And a foul called on somebody holding on to the basket. Must have been pure for it. I think he got it on Harper. 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 Yep, it was on I, Jared. I thought Purefoy was the guy that held him, but I guess not. Okoro throws it out long to Allen. They worked hard on this out of bounds play. Free throw now. line jumpers good. They make another one. Eight they, for nine. They had worked so hard to stop that play, yet we did not get the coverage that we were supposed to. 19 to 10. Auburn just simply not playing very well, and Gators playing lights out. McLemore at the top of the key over here to Dunbar. Screen from Anthony. Malik shoots it out front to Javon McCormick. Tigers down by nine. Coming up on the 10-minute mark here in the first half. McCormick. Pass deflected back to him. Four on the shot clock. Puts up a three. Go! with the outstretched hands of Okoru. He's playing very well. He that's always plays well. He's playing three. more minutes now, though. That's a little different. He just had no choice but throw that one up. Alden cuts it to six. Allen with it. Center circle. Alden standing that man-to-man -man defense. McCoy. We, have, we haven't changed in the whole game. Underneath Allen, wide open. Didn't get the shot off. Bass at the drive. Missed the runner. Gets it back. Throws it back out, and it's deflected away into the hands of Purifoy. And he will hold on to it to hand it off to Harper. Gators had a point-blank shot there. Harper for three. Oh, yeah. We get to hit the threes, we'll get right back in. But our defense has been really good. Turned them over again. I can't count how many they've, times they've turned it over, that, but it's a lot. That's five for Florida now. They've taken care of the basketball there for a while, but that turnover leads to a three. And Auburn on a 6 nothing run, they've cut it to three. Lock out front to Okoru. Now gives it off to Bassett. Holds it on his hip. He's out there on the arc. Seven to shoot. Lock with it. Guarded by Hands Harper up. down Hands to three. Up. Three over Harper with two. Long rebound to Jarrett on the miss. Tigers can tie it with a three. Purifoy can't drive. Throws it back out front to McCormick. Here's Javon on the drive. Passes it back out. And Harper will now reset. All right, here we go. We got to set up. We're going to run a good one, and I'm tell you who's going to get this ball. Harper around the left side, running three, going left is good, and we're tied. He got the screen that he needed. He's feeling it, so they ran the play for him. He ran his own play. Good screen at the top of the key, and he goes. Timeout, Florida. Yep. Auburn on a nine nothing run. And Harper leading the way. Nimhard throws it all the way in the backcourt. And now Hayes gives it back to him. I worry about Nimhard on their team more than anybody. He's so good. Left side to Johnson. Deontay Johnson, top of the key, over to Nimhard on the wing. He'll bring it to the top. Now to Allen. Eight on the shot clock. To Johnson, left side. Lob into Hayes underneath. Goes up and lays it. No, missed the layup. 
Point blank range. Purifoy the rebound. Armour can take the lead. Harper has a hot hand and another one on the way. Yes! Boy, all he needs is a screen and a step past the screen, and he knocks it down. That from the left sideline. Great move, great screen to open him up. He comes back down the floor with a smile on his face and says, yeah. I said, yeah, too. When he left, I said, that's good. 22-19, Auburn on top by three. It's a 12-0 run for Auburn. Nemhart on the wing. Over to Hudson. Hudson with a free throw line hand. It's tripped. Into the hands of Purifoy, a hand to Harper, behind the back pass, pass to Dunbar, fumbled it away. Jared saved it, back to Malik, out to Bryce, on the wing. Screen from Spencer, but Florida gets out there to switch. Uh, we took too much time off trying to get a shot for Bryce. Harper now high on the left side, 10 on the shot clock. All right, let's get a good high ball screen. We're setting it right now. Bar sets it. Got nothing out five, of it. Long three by Harper. Air ball into the hands of Johnson. Not a good trip that time for no. all. Hayes behind everybody for the dunk. That was on Malik, I think. Malik on Malik. Malik has made two mistakes in a row. He, he, they dropped the ball off to him for a layup, and he's looking to watch for the rebound, and then he doesn't get back, and that really hurts us. Auburn up by one, 22-21. Harper hooks it over to Brown. Spins, can't drive. Step back, drive again. Stop and pop a two. Air ball underneath off the hands of uh, Spencer into the hands of Johnson. Here come the Gators. They can retake the lead. Hudson ahead. Cross it goes to Johnson. Pretty good. We did not have our defensive rotation proper then. We're not moving those feet. We got to get going here. We're just not doing what we're supposed to do. Five nothing run now for the Gators to reclaim the lead by two. 24 22 Florida. Purifoy over to Price Brown. 15 to shoot. They've done a nice job against Bryce here in the first half. Yeah, but he's going to get a basket soon and he'll be off. He just needs that one basket. Harper with six. Harper the drive with four goes up off the glass too hard and Hayes the rebound. Got to get back. Auburn doesn't have the numbers. Another three for Florida is off the iron. No good by Johnson. He was wide open. Pierre Floyd, Pierre Floyd did not get back to his man, and it cost us. Man, Harper was late getting back because he hit the deck so hard. It was five on four down there. Well, he was helping on somebody else. Maybe that's my fault yep. to say that. John, or Spencer back out to Harper. Harper directing traffic, and he got very frustrated. You don't see that very often. He stomped his right foot. And has his pocket pick. Jump ball called on the floor, and he'll go back to Florida. Well, he must have jump balls in his pocket calling those that quick. We could have got a chance to steal that yep. thing back. The only thing jump ball about that was his jumping on that whistle too quick. 4.59 to go in the half, 24-22, Florida on top. That was a frustrating trip down the floor for Jared. He was frustrated with... Not one, one or two guys that, that, that weren't in the spot that they wanted to be in. Yeah, not running the offense. Not space property to run the offense. So Nemhard stands out at center court. Dowdy in, McElmore in, by the way. So is Chumo Kiki. We've got to guard this Johnson kid. Johnson dropped it. Save, though. Nice job by Allen to save that one from going out of bounds. To Nemhard with seven. Underneath to Hudson. Up against uh, McElmore. Anthony fouls. Hudson. We're and switching everything, and the inside people are kind of getting mixed up. They're ending up out on the perimeter, and they're staying solidly with somebody at the basket all the time, and we're leaving people open, and that was that case right there. And here's a guy that uh, you don't ever want to leave open anywhere. 71% from the line. First one is good. It's a three-point lead for the Gators. 25-22. Clock is stopped with 434 to go. He's a transfer from Virginia Tech, and he's just started to play well, right? He's not played like they thought he might. Missed the second playing. one. Had a career 33 points against LSU. Scored 25 in the last 28 against the Fighting Tigers. Three-point LSU lead. Entry for Okiki. Back out to Samir. Back into Okiki. Goes up for the jam. Two-handed jam through two defenders. That's our Verizon dunk of the game. Verizon is proud to partner with Auburn University. One family, different and limited plans. Now go mix and match at VerizonWireless.com. They called a play for Okiki. They want to get him involved, and that just got him involved. 25-24. And a three by Allen, wide open. Three in the corner. McLemore's got to pick it up a little bit. He's not being aggressive enough when he switches. 28-24. 
Florida now four for seven from three. That's unacceptable. Bryce Brown to the top for McLemore. Hands it back to Akiki. Now to Harper between the rings. Well, we'll set a high ball screen right here. And there it is. Allen fouled Harper on the drive. Just about that second step that Jared took. And uh, only the second team foul called on Florida here in the first half. Yeah, Auburn has four at the moment. It, not many fouls called at all in this game. 335 no. to go. Timeout on the floor. Coach Pearl's over there doing some shooting right now. I know that. Oh, he's already done that once today. McLemore hands it off to Harper. 15 Florida. to shoot. Florida's defense is exceptional yeah, right now. They've been playing great. Extending Auburn out long off the three-point line. McLemore entry for Kiki. Goes up. Had it blocked. Nice block by Hayes. Get back. He's six in the league and block shots. Gators lead by four. They led by as many as seven. Brown guarding Nimhard up top. Now over it goes to Allen on the wing. Dowdy picks him up there. Down the lane. Finger roll. Good. Too easy. Way too easy. Anthony McLemore should pick him up and kept him strong. The switch took place. He didn't move his feet. We got to get him going. Auburn moving slow. 30-24. In the corner. Okiki had fake at three. Back out to Harper. Pump fake. Now shoots the three. Good. Well, he's wearing them out. He's wearing them out. He needs some help from his, his brothers. Oh, you're right. He does. 30-27. Auburn's cut the lead in half. 228 to go first half. We're going to win this game. We're playing as bad as we can play, and we're still right in the game. A pair of twos guarding each other. Nimhart and Brown now to Allen on the wing. Against Harper. Can't drive. Pulls it back out. Seven to shoot. McLemore comes out. Just He's having a bad day. Runs really right into is. Allen. Gets called for the foul. How many? Uh, how many that's, on? Two, that's two on Anthony. I figured he had two. We can't afford any more of that. Our big people got to stay in the game or Hayes will be running free. That's five team fouls on Auburn. Only two called against the Gators here in the first half. Hudson will trigger in sideline across the way. Throws it in the backcourt. And the funny thing about that is they're more aggressive than we are right now. 30 to yeah. 27 Auburn. Yeah, you're right. They, they, they don't get any fouls. Hudson on the wing. Eight to shoot. Passes it to Johnson. Back out to Hudson. Down the lane. Had it stripped off his leg. That's us. Oh, my. Todd Austin gave it back to Florida. Well, they did. It hit us. That's, I said that's off us just quick. It hit our guy. It went off the leg of Hudson. They must have touched an Auburn player. It hit him, yeah. Yep. As he threw it. So only two seconds to shoot now. Are they going to throw this up to the rim, Coach? Yes. Hayes didn't. Chuck Jones. You don't stop play. play with two seconds. Stops play to tell Bruce Pearl to come. You can't back. do he that. Was, he was down at the end outside the line. All right, Nimhard looking, still looking. Lobs it in. Hayes with the dunk. They worked on that so hard to keep that play to not happen. I'm going to give the assist to Chuck Jones on that. Well, somebody blew an assignment for Auburn. Auburn just not playing very good basketball. No. Only down by five, though. 32-27. Anthony's having a tough first half. McLemore, open three, go in for him. Nope, not even close. He's just not having one of the McLemore days. He really isn't. He's got, it's not all his fault now. We're no, talking more about it. No, you're him. right. Absolutely. Hayes is an outstanding player he's going against. Here's Hudson between the rings. Five point uh, Florida lead. Hayes, top of the key. Left side, Nemhard for the biggest lead of the game. Missed it. Rebound tipped out to Brown. Brown up the floor, bounces it right to Harper. Harper down the lane, dumps it off to Chuma. Couldn't handle it. Out to Dowdy. Three on the way. Good. Samir Dowdy makes it a two point game. Uh, we're going to win this game. We've got to guard the inside people when we get down here. We've got to stay away from fouling them on drives to the basket. 32 30, 43 seconds to go in the half. Brown guarding them hard near midcourt. High screen from Hayes. Crossover Nimhard down the middle of the lane. Bryce Laid Brown. it up and good. Bryce Brown got beat because he's expecting him to go off the screen. He did a great crossover dribble and beat us, and he's a very good basketball player. 34-30, Auburn uh, basically can pay play for the last shot here. Everybody is playing all man for the whole 
Ball tipped away. Harper took it. Out at midcourt. Shot clock should be off, but it's not. Seven, six, five. Down to four. Out to Samir with two. Lost it. And then uh, had it blocked for trying to throw up a prayer. And this half comes to a close. Thank goodness for Auburn. My goodness. Yeah. Uh, Auburn only trails by four. That's the great news because they did not play very well thanks to the Gators and their tough defense. But Auburn with some defensive blown assignments late in this first half. Is. We never know about this Auburn team when they're going to break out. It could be any moment. Yeah. I would like for us to get off to a good start in this first half. First five minutes. Auburn starts with the basketball. McElmore dropped the ball. McElmore's he's, he's yep. huddled, trying too hard. Dunbar. Back inside to Anthony. Up, way short. Not even close. He's not feeling it. They tried, they ran a play for him, tried to get him going by they come running him off the screen, posting him up. Couldn't hit it. Gators with the ball up by four, 34 to 30. Emhart picks up the dribble. Now to Johnson, right side. Out front to Hayes. Holds it over his head against McLemore. Over here to Allen. Left wing, six to shoot. In and them hard, knocked away and stolen away by Harper. Saved by Bryce, back to Jarrett. Harper, entry for Okiki. Works on Johnson, blocked by Hayes, got it back. Throws it back out to Jarrett, around to Dunball. Malik drives on Hudson, pulls up for a two. Missed it, and the rebound to Hayes. Auburn starting just like they started in the first half, well, unable to hit a shot. Malik wants to get a point. He plays better after he scored, but he, he, he shouldn't have taken that shot too early in the shot clock. Hudson drives around everybody and lays it in. And we're not protecting that rim. We're supposed to drop off and get protection by the four or five men, and we're not getting that right now. As good as Auburn. Here's Bryce Brown. Pull-up jumper from the free throw line is good. Cut it to four. As engaged and connected as Auburn was defensively against Florida in their first meeting. It just hasn't been the same here today. Well, it's the same thing. Uh, but we've gone through these stretches before, but right. we've always come out of it and really played well, and I expect us to still do that. Still plenty of time in this one. 18-15 to go. Auburn down by four. Got to get some stops, though. They had a hard time doing that. Underneath the haze, fumbled it out of bounds. They're running plays because they realize they hurt us in the first half on post play, over the top, beating us down the floor, and we got a turnover on 10 by defending the post pretty well. 36-32 Gators. Harper Tom Toms the basketball with the left hand across midcourt. Spencer in the game for McLemore. Over to Bryce, left side. Out to catch is Okiki. Launches the three. Missed it short. Rebound. Spencer was fouled. Spencer had a shot at the rebound, but I think Hayes got a hold of it. And that'll be the first on Hayes. He was being held, and he was trying to break away, and he ran too deep, or he would have got it right off with a chance to score. Inbounds for Okiki to Dunbar. Just outside the free throw line. Bad pass. Forced it in. Steal by Florida. They wanted to stay with the play, but they're defending the play. you got to go with the, the, with the breakdown of the play. Dump off to Hayes, off the glass, good. That's a six-point lead again for Florida. Thirty-eight, thirty-two. All right, we'll get a side or high ball screen and a fade out of it, and let's see if we can get something right here. Malik spins down the lane, scoops it up, missed another one. That's a and foul. foul on Spencer, and that's his second. second. What we're doing right now, and it is something we haven't done. The guys are looking to score, and they think it'll cure the problem. But our problem right now is more than scoring the ball. We've got to defend the post play, and we've got to defend the screens that they're sitting on us. Either switch them or defend your man. Gators up by six. They were shooting 70% in the first half. They're two for two here in the second half. Meanwhile, Auburn is one for six. Well, we're going to get going. I've never seen us not. The alley hoop inside, deflected by Okiki to Dowdy. Samir between the rings, hands it back to Bryce. Love to see him get it going. There's a three on the way. Go! All right, we're going to get this thing. Now we can do it, do it without fouling. They're trying to keep Newbert. Uh, I don't know who they're trying hard. to keep. <laughs> <laughs> Since I don't know your name, you're pretty good. 38-35. Almost cut the lead down to three here. 
16.37 to go. Newhart's dangerous with the ball. He really is. He can take it to the goal or he can make the three. Harper on them hard there. Ahead top of the key to Hayes, guarded by Spencer. One bounce, turns the corner all the way to the rim. Blocked by Spencer, but they get the foul on Horace, and he took a shot to the forehead. Yes, he did by the guy's hand after he blocked the shot. So uh, he, it was not a foul, but he sure, he sure took a lick. I'd like to see a replay on that. They could have been a foul. Hayes will get two free throws. Horace up. Officials talk about it. They're not going to look at it, of course. And they're not, they weren't talking about us, I don't think. And Hayes will go to the line. Well, now Horace has three, and Anthony McElmore has two. So Auburn's two post players are in some foul issues here. It's always a big problem for us if, if, the, if we have our rim protect, protectors in foul trouble. In and out on the first free throw by Hayes. An okay free throw shooter at 65%. He's played well. He really has. They say he's the leader of the team. I didn't realize that, but uh, we're talking to some Florida people. They yep. say he's the real leader. Had 11 points in their win yesterday. Second one good. Four-point lead for Florida. All right. We're living by the three. We're not dying by the three, but we're halfway dead at times because we don't get any ball movement. Auburn trailing by four, 39-35. Dante Bassett in the game for the Gators. Harper off a high screen, shoots it over to Bryce Brown on the wing. Puts up a three. There. No rebound. Johnson up over everybody. And Florida controlling everything right now, including the boards. They really are. They have an 18 to 11 advantage underneath. Hudson was open for a moment. He walked. He fell down. Bryce Brown guarding him tight. There must be something around here. We've had a number of people fall, and, and they say ice. it's the ice under yeah, the floor. Yeah, there's ice under the floors. We're going to hit threes. Yeah. And, and they just hadn't started good yet, but we're going to hit threes. Auburn, 8 of 19 so far in the game. Not getting much work done underneath, though. Downey down the rim. Scoops it up. Good and a foul. They call the block on Bassett. He could, he, he could become a... He could become a big time scorer for us if yeah. you try a little bit more of taking that ball to basket and get aggressive. I tell you, you had to hold your breath on that one, didn't you? <laughs> oh, you did. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you this. He could make a big difference yeah. right now. Doubt he could by driving the ball to the basket and open up things for us. He needs to hit a free throw, too, but he didn't yeah. off the He's front got iron. to arc it. He's got to arc yep. it. He's always great if he arcs his shot. 39-37. Almost got it to two. Going to stop here. Dowdy on Hudson. To the corner for Nimhard. Inside for Bassett. Thanks for it. Good pass. They're taking advantage of their inside people and not enough pressure on the ball to keep them from throwing a good shot. Florida is now shooting over 73% in the game. 74 to be exact. Dowdy pulls up. Mid lane dump off to Spencer. Off the glass and good. Two-point game again. All right. Now we got to defend without fouling and keep them from throwing the lob to the centers. Auburn wanted a five second there. Didn't quite get it. They get uh -huh. it into Johnson. Austin Wiley preparing to check in for the Tigers. Dunbar against Johnson. Free throw line cut off. Holding the ball. Got to get rid of it. Does so to Nimhard. 15 to shoot. Back it goes to Johnson. Back to Nimhard. 11 on the shot clock. To Bassett left of the keyhole. Holds it over his head to seven. To Hudson. Watch Hudson go to work. He dribbled it off his foot. And Auburn gets the basketball. Ahead to Harper. Harper down the floor. Blocked out of bounds. And the well, Tigers will keep they it. Fouled they him. absolutely they fouled him it. before the block. And uh, they should have called it. And that's just that's just not right. Yeah. They, they did not foul him on the block. But they certainly fouled him out on the floor. Yep. Got him on the floor before he even got to the rim. Yep. That's exactly right. Well, out of bounds, though. Auburn will still have it. Chance to tie it up with a uh, two. Lead with the three. Out to Dowdy. Into Wiley, who just checked in. Puts it on the deck. Drives it home, and we're tied. All right, now we got a rim defender in there. He can't stay long because he has an injury problem all the time. If we can keep him in the game, protect that rim for us a little bit, we'll be okay. Tied at 41. 14.09 to go. Hudson into the corner. Lock a three on the way is good. Lock is a good three, a three point shooter. He hadn't shown it this year, but last year was good. And he he's, he can do it again if you let him. Well, I say that he still shoot 
33 or 34 percent. 44 41 back to a three point Florida lead. Into Wiley. Shoots it over here to Kiki. A three wide open. Good with time. He's already made a big, big impression on the game. I'm talking about Austin Wiley. Threw it cross court to a man wide open for a three. Tied at 44. Nimhart in the front court around the screen. 13.30 to go. Passes it over to Johnson. Thought about the three. Had it stripped. Harper to Wiley. Back to Harper. Bounce pass over to Dowdy. Three. Yes! Yes! We got our, hey, this has been a half-court game. If we can get it into a full-court game, they're going to be in trouble. 47-44, Auburn. That equals their biggest lead of the game. Nimhard over midcourt. And a timeout called by the Gators. Well, that's a good timeout for them because we were certainly breaking out of our, you know what, we got to get it. We got to get this into a transition game, not a half-court game because they're winning the half-court battle. 13.06 to go. Timeout for the Gators. Auburn leads at 47-44. The three-pointer by Dowdy in the corner. Off the turnover, the 12th of the day by the Gators. And Auburn has a three-point lead. All right, here come the Gators. Now they switch back to man. Bryce, on, Bryce on them hard. Nine on the shot clock, by the way, already. Now the Hudson with seven. Outside the arc on the wing with five. Down with three. Down with two, puts up a wild one, tries to draw the foul, missed it. Oh, they called the foul. He, oh, oh my God. Hudson went up and fooled Todd Austin, which I don't <laughs> Oh, man. Not a ton of argument from the Auburn bench, but, you know. Did he foul him? Yeah. He did. Uh, Could have gone either way. Could have gone either way. You're not doing a good job of uh, yeah. uh, uh, calling games today. I got to get we, oh, we got to get you going. <sighs> and now he picked up the foul and Hudson makes the first. Makes the second. Chance to tie it with this one. My goodness. Now if he's going to make that call, he's got to call the thing on Florida pushing off to get away on the dribble. They really do it every time and. If that was a foul, this has got to be a foul. And we're tied 47-47 as Hudson bought himself three free throws. All right. Here comes Harper up the floor. Over to Okiki, back to Jared. Auburn's got a little momentum still, though. Har uh, Dowdy now with it. Top of the key. Right-handed dribble. Back out to Bryce. Guarded by Allen. Can't drive. Flips it back out to Harper with 12. All right, we'll get a screen now, and we'll drive the ball to the basket and get something. High screen from Austin. Harper over to Brown. Couldn't get it inside. Got to get it up if he can. And he was fouled on the arm, and there's no whistle. And Hudson comes back with it. Bruce Pearl adamant that, that there was a foul on the arm that time. Hudson, the runner, out of control, missed it. Rebound, Harper. Here come Got the Tigers. Guy hit him. Harper races across mid floor. Over here comes to Dowdy. Austin wants it. Austin gets it. Austin, one bounce off the glass. Missed it too hard. Rebound on the deck. And the Gators come out of there with get it. Up, Austin, go. a little slow. Get up. He's racing down the floor as best he can. Tied at 47, 11, 42. At the top for Johnson. Cross it goes to Allen. We need a stop on this play because we just, missed, we just blew a layup, and we're going to get something back here. 12 to shoot. Allen feeds it ahead right of the keyhole to Hayes. And a foul on Harper trying to run through a screen. Same Pat Austin guy. with the call. Same guy. Javon McCormick checks in. Horace Spencer is in for Austin. Keontae Johnson against Chumo Kiki. Now to the top of the key for Hayes. Ten on the shot clock. They're going to drop it over post. to Allen. They're going to post. Inside to Hayes, nicely knocked away by Spencer, stepping in the passing lane with five to shoot. Their deal is to post up a mess, mismatch, and they get it, they're going to throw it in there. Nimhard on his own baseline underneath the bucket. They threw a lob for a basket this last time. Here he comes. They'll have to settle for a long pass out to uh, Allen, and his pocket picked by Chumo Kiki. Chuma up the floor. Chuma to McCormick. Shuffles it off to Downey in the corner. Back it comes to McCormick, and the Tigers will reset. Great steal. Great defensive return by Florida, though, not to let, not to give us a layup. Smart play by McCormick not to force it there. Yes, that's exactly right. 
Spencer out there, long range, hands it off to Harper, over to Chuma. Works on lock, pulls up, this is a two, missed it, and them hard with the rebound. Got to get back. Tied at 47. Nemhard down the lane, stripped out of bounds, off his foot, off his leg, and back to Auburn. They got to stop these, these Florida guards from using the arm and pushing you off to get free. 10.32 to go. Still tied at 47. All right, we're going to get a basket this time. And I'll tell you who's going to get it. McCormick to Harper. Right sideline, Dowdy. In it goes to Chuma. Works on lock. Back out to Dowdy. He'll drive down the lane. He's trapped up in the air. Dumps off to Horace Spencer. Rim down to the hook. Never got really balanced on that shot. No, he didn't expect the pass to start with. He should have put the ball up on the glass. Would like to see Samir try that floater on that he, one. He, he can make it. it. He, he, he just wants to make sure somebody else has got the ball more open than him. Gators with it. Now Hayes between the circles. A handoff to Nimhard. Jumps it inside to Hayes, and it's knocked away. Auburn another steal. Harper up the floor. Harper the three. Harper misses it long, and the long rebound to Get Johnson. Back. Get back. 9.35 to go in the basketball game. Team, Both teams shoot blanks right now. We can throw it in the ocean right now, but we will. Nebhard back to the bucket at midcourt against Javon McCormick. 13 to shoot to Johnson. Okiki guard him, hands it back to Allen. Allen backs up with six. Allen slides right. Throws it back out long to Johnson with two. Drive, kick out, open, three is short. Rebound, tapped out. Dowdy comes away with it. Dowdy to McCormick underneath, scoops it up. Good, Norman Lee. Uh, he needs to take that. He had one in, in, in earlier, and he, did, he went right by the goal and didn't take it. He got to take it because he can out-jump these people. 49-47. Nimhard just now getting across front court. About a half a second to spare. 13 to shoot. Foul on Okiki trying to fight through. Nemhard baseline, throws it out front to Hayes. Now Nemhard comes out to get it. Outstanding freshman point guard out of Ontario, Canada. He is really a good player. He can drive on you. He can hit the three. Got and he steal. turned it over. Another steal by Auburn. Horace Spencer runs the floor. Off the glass. Oh, look at Horace running down the floor. Well, look at these officials swallowing the whistle. That was a foul. Auburn up by four, 51-47. Allen over midcourt. Auburn crowd on their feet. McCormick against Allen. Nemhard wants it. Allen goes to his left and hands it off to Hudson. Now back between the rings. Cross it goes to Lock. Passes it to Hayes at the top with six. Hayes hands it to Nemhard. Two seconds. Now to Lock. Launches a prayer. Air ball out of bounds. Great defense by the Tigers. What a defensive stand. 7.49 to go. Timeout in Nashville, Tennessee. Auburn 51. And Florida 47. Auburn a four-point lead. That equals their biggest of the game. McCormick quickly in the front court to Purifoy. Looks right, goes left to Bryce. Slides to his right, launches a three. And he buries it. Auburn up by seven. Anytime you let him come to his right for one full step, he'll knock that thing down a, a more than 50% of the time. Seven, nothing run for the Tigers. Biggest lead of the game. Bryce Brown all over Nimhart at midcourt. Nimhart still on the bounce, picks up the dribble, lock on the wing, gets Dunbar. Malik almost knocked it free. Nine on the shot clock. Crossover by Locke. And a foul on Dunbar. Well, Dunbar stuck his arm yep. out. But they're allowing the offensive player to do that. You can't do that unless you let it, unless you call it on them. 16 fouls on Auburn, only two on the Gators here in the second half. Next foul on Auburn will send Florida into the bonus. Well, they'll get them there the way they're calling. It's not that they're, uh, they're uh, dishonest. They're making calls that they shouldn't be making. Hudson along the sideline. Lives it long across in front of us to Nimhard in backcourt. All right, we need a stop badly. Auburn up by seven, 54-47. Nimhard out on the wing with 10. To the top, 
Goes left to the Allen. Allen penetrates. Forces one up. Missed it. Hayes kicks it out of the air. Sends Bryce Brown to the deck. That's an offensive foul. Chuck Jones with the call. And a great job by Bryce Brown to set those feet and take the contact. That wasn't a flop. That was really a yep. charge. And he made the call. All right. Now we need a basket. And I'll tell you who we need to get involved in that basket is get Dunbar a basket, and we'll get a lot more out of him. McCormick angles right front court. Jared Harper getting a breather. McCormick can't drive out to Dunbar. There's a three. No, off the back iron. McLemore couldn't quite get the position to get to Hayes. He didn't jump. That was one reason. Here's Nimhard. Crosses midcourt between the legs. Top of the key. Still inside. Goes underneath. Oh, Hayes had it blocked by McCormick. Got it back. And then Amperty just reaches in and fouls it. Probably not a bad foul there by No, it's going to be a layup, but he didn't He didn't jump. He must be something. He must not be feeling right. He's not jumping. What well, about McCormick blocking Hayes' shot from behind? There's nobody that, that McCormick can't block. That's a, that's a jumping guy yeah. right there, baby. Hayes goes the line. He'll have two free ones here. Third on McElroy. Clock is stopped with 6.24 to go in the basketball game. And the first free throw is good by Hayes to make it a six-point Auburn lead. I'd like to see a little more Austin Wiley the way he played. The way he gave us that boost when he came in that first time. And they may use him because yeah. they got a limit on time for him. Second one coming up for Hayes. Senior out of Live Oak, Florida. Made it. Rolled off the iron and in. He right. has 12. He's had a good game. They're picking us up full court now. And, and, and this is a zone type of trout. Got to hurry. McCormick is fouled. Hudson went for the steal and ran right over. Javon McCormick. Coach talked to him about this 1 2 2 or 1 3 1, whichever it is, according to this, where they're coming down the court. And he, he worked out a way to get it to the middle and get it to the baseline. If we can do that, I don't know how long they'll stay in that. Javon McCormick checks out. Here comes Jared Harper back in. First on Hudson, fourth foul on Florida. Harper. To Purefoy between the rings. Fakes it left, comes back to the right to Bryce, and a foul on Hayes running through Harper. Well, that fella made a call right there for <laughs> us. <laughs> I, I thought he I thought he didn't like people with white jerseys on. Oh my goodness. Hayes picks up his third. And uh fifth team foul on Florida. And things start to even up. <laughs> Dunbar right in front of us. Throws it into Harper. Now to Bryce. Three on the way from the wing is good. What a shot. What a screen. What a play. Eight point Auburn lead. I'm getting excited. Don't we let need, me talk. We, we need something to charge you up. 57-49. <laughs> 17 to shoot, 540 to play. Here's Hayes with it. Holds it over his head at the top of the key. Now to the wing for Hudson. Step backs to his left. Inside to Hayes who lays it in. Good uh, job by Hayes to get open. Well, Anthony McNamore made a serious mistake by leaving his man and going to double on a guy that was dribbling and covered. Six-point Auburn lead, 57-51. 519 remaining. Harper dribbling it out. Left the right side of the floor. Around an Anthony screen. Can't get free. They double up on Jared. Cross court to Brown. Pulls up. Three from the wing again. Off the iron. No. Rebound to Hayes. They'll hand it off to Nimhar. Five minutes to go. We got to get an offensive rebound every once in a while. Nimhar tried to fake a foul there. Not guarding the post, man. Underneath. He threw it away. And then Hayes runs right over the back of Bryce Brown. And that's four on Hayes. Uh, you know, if they tackle him, that ought to be a... Uh, one of those fouls where you get to shoot more than one. <laughs> but these guys can't count that high. <laughs> Hayes picks up his fourth. And now both teams are in the bonus. After the, with the next foul against Florida, Auburn will shoot one and one. 57-51 Tigers, 451 to go. We got the game in a full court game now. We can win this thing. Harper over the midcourt stripe. Hands it off to Malik. Now to Chuma. Chuma left side. He needs a bucket. 
Now to Spencer, back to Harper. Inside, Okiki. Right of the lane, goes up off the glass. Missed it. Rebound, fought for. Bassett takes it away. He's not putting the ball high enough on the glass. He's been so heavily guarded. Here's a step back three. Oh, man. And Dunbar got off his feet and just waylaid right into him, and that's an easy foul to call. Yeah, that's a good call. And that's Malik fun. Dunbar picks up the foul, and three free ones coming up here for Florida. They're going to say two. That's now, I think I his foot was on the line. They're saying he was shooting, but it was a two. Two, okay. We cannot let them get their points off dead balls. we got to make them earn those points. Allen makes it. Because there's no question who's going to shoot the most free throws here. Them playing a half-court game, us playing a full court and shooting quick, they're going to shoot more free throws. 57-52. That's a chance to cut it to four now for Allen. One of three seniors on this roster for the Gators. Got it. Now they'll go to that half-court trapping thing that they use. We got to be ready for it. No, they're not going to do it. Good. Lineup now for Florida, by the way, as Bassett goes out. Harper over midcourt. Now, if we get it inside, we ought to get a score. 57 53. Harper directs traffic, lobs it to Dowdy, works on Hudson, sweeps underneath, lays it in over the top of Hudson. Well, that's what we got to do. You made the point. They're smaller now. Get it in. 59 53. Hudson high on the right side. No foolish fouls. We're making foolish fouls. Now to Johnson to lock. 18 to shoot. Locked to the top. Comes back to his left in the corner for Nemhard. The freshman goes to Johnson. Drives on Dowdy. Goes up. Puts it in. Nice shot. That's a nice shot. Yes, it was. And, and, and actually, it was fairly well defended. Yes, absolutely it was. Harper angles right. Hudson picks him up. Inside to Okiki. Works on Johnson. Backs him into the paint. Gets him up in the air. Off the glass. Missed it. Got his own rebound. Had it stripped, got it back, saved it out to Downey. Fresh shot clock. Good job of offensive rebound. Great Auburn rebound, and he's got to get he's got to get that ball higher on the glass. There won't be any rebounds. There'll be points. Harper again to Okiki, just inside the arc. Works in the middle of the lane. Jumper good. Turn around for Chuma. Gives Auburn a six-point lead again. We are posting them up and beating them, and that's a good point. All right, we got to get a stop without fouling. They're going to go to the big man after they run some time off if we don't give up a three. Nemhard guarded tightly by Bryce Brown at midcourt. Swiped at it, couldn't get it. To Keontae Johnson, right of the keyhole. Back out to Allen. Now to Nemhard, left of the lane. Got to help him. I guess Bryce Brown sleeps in the lane. Turn around, jumper, no. Long rebound, tapped out. Downey, unable to run it down. Is Harper, and Florida gets a fresh 30. Hudson, a wide open three is good. Now yeah, we should have had that rebound. We had the rebound who could get. They beat us to the ball. You got to give Florida a right of credit there. Yep, absolutely. 61 58. Auburn's lead at 3 2 20 to go. All right, we need a basket. 15 to shoot. Harper brings it around to the right side. Goes to Schumann out of Bryce. Bryce is going to make us one right here. High screen. Bryce Brown backs up. Over it goes to Horace for three in the corner. Air ball long. Rebound run down. And uh, Allen with it. Horace hit a big one yesterday, but didn't come close on that one. The Gators can tie it with a three. No, they won't guard him when he pops out there. So he does. He, he, he can make one or he can not because they're going to leave him open. Nimhard at the top of the key with 14 to shoot. Watch for Hudson. He can take over a game in a heartbeat. Oh, he can, but we got to keep that big center from getting the ball. Johnson on the drive to the rim. Missed it. Rebound Hayes. Back out Allen for the tie. Missed it. Rebound on Hudson. his back. Over the back on Dowdy and got it back. My goodness. And Florida can reset again. Well, you're going to have to rebound the ball because they're not going to call anything. Spencer, get up. No call. Inside Hayes. Dunk. It's a one-point game. All right, we can't stay on the floor like that. We got to get up when they knock you down. 61-60. Now, this is their trap. You got to get it across. Chuma. Bobs it ahead to Spencer. What happened? That's, they called it five seconds. Ten seconds. I knew they were going to yeah. do it, and I knew the guy that would do it, too, because it was getting close. Yeah, look up. Shot clock says 20. 
That's a 10 second call. Yeah. And now the Gators can take the lead with 57.9 to go. Yeah, I knew they had that trap, and I knew that it was effective, and I knew we'd have to be ready. Hudson bounces in to Allen. 61 60. Hands it to Nimhard. Bryce Brown guards him. 24 to shoot. Oh, stop here. Got to get one. Nimhard around the left side with 17. Don't let him get a three. 15 to shoot. Now to Johnson. They dare him to shoot the three. He missed it. Rebound, Okiki. All right, now we got to have a basket. There's 36 seconds left. They'll get a chance to shoot the ball one time. We got to score this time. 61 60. About seven seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Harpo just dribble it out near midcourt. Now they know we do this, so they're, when they come up, to, they, they call to play. We're going to come up and screen. No, we didn't do Harper, it. Harper, long three. Got it! Oh. He got it! Now, don't foul. Oh, my gosh! Harper just dribbled it out and said, stop me if you can. And they couldn't. And Auburn leads by four with 10.6 to go. That very well could have been the shot that sends Auburn to the championship game. <laughs> you are special. So is that team. Time out. Oh, I thought we was off the air. With you, 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 <laughs> you had gone so long on that oration that was the best I've ever heard. How hey. about Jared Harper? All right. They, hey, they can only get back in this game if they shoot a three and we foul them and they make it. And there's only 10 seconds left in this game. Uh, you get it under seven, you might foul them. You got to think about that. Coaches do think about that. But on, on the other hand, how good of free throw shooters do they have in the game right now? Because you're better at math than I am. Well, let's take a look. Uh, once they break the bench, we'll tell you. But... Florida using the timeout. They still have one left. Auburn has three remaining. I they would put, put they put 1.6 seconds back on the clock. Oh, no kidding. I bet I know who did it. 12.2 to go. They went to the monitor and uh, put 1.6 on the board. But that, Jared Harper's three. He has 19 on the day. Wait a minute now. Don't give him a ball, Mr. Rep. So get back, get back, get back, coach. Don't let him call. He's out of the box. Oh, my goodness. Get out of there. Chuck might call one. Yep. Nim Hard along the end line. Fires it in. Don't the foul him. Got Don't to foul him. Floor. All the way to the rim. Off the glass. Good. Timeout, Gators. All right. It was Hudson all the way, and it's a two-point Auburn lead. Three timeouts for Auburn, none for Florida. Auburn leads 64-62. Both teams in the bonus. Now we can't foul somebody trying to get open. We've got to we we've got to get it in without fouling. Harper, Brown, McCormick, Dowdy, Okiki. I had the same situation one time at uh, VCU, and I threw it long. I threw it all the way long on the court and laid it up. And they won't defend that part of it. Right. But you've got to be a crazy coach and and someone afraid to try. It. All right, here we go. Kiki will inbound it. Harry Hayes will guard him there. 7.5 to go in the basketball game. Okiki runs along the end line. Got to hurry up. Time out. Auburn had three to use. Now smart, smart play. We need two people down there. They, they thought he could beat the guy, and the guy did a tremendous job. Dowdy, McCormick, and Bryce are all at midcourt. Harper mid backcourt, and Shumo Kiki again on the line. We need to get one more guy up down there. Shumo will inbound it, baseline. To his right underneath the Gators bucket. Inbounds to Harper. He's trapped and he's fouled. Either Hayes or Hudson. If it's Hayes, that's his fifth. And it is uh, actually Hudson who picks up the foul, his second. Yeah. And Harper comes to the other end with a 6.2 to go. All right. How many timeouts we got since I can't see? Two timeouts for Auburn, none for Florida. All right, we don't want to call a timeout with him going to the free throw line, but uh, we... Uh, if we make the first one, yep. we could use the timeout after that to tell them what we're going to do defensively. All you right. can foul them before they get the chance to shoot a three and take your chance on them not getting a rebound on the free throw. This is the big one for Jared. No, oh, he's going to make it. Up. Good. It's a three-point game. 
If he makes one more, you know what we're doing? We're going championship game. And you're going to take me out to eat someday. <laughs> Coming up for Jared. 6.2 on the clock. Get off the line. We don't need anybody on the line. Oh, Kiki, you standing cannot there. foul. Do not foul. He's the only one on the line. Do not foul. Harper to give Auburn a four point lead. Missed it. Johnson pulls it down. Gators can still tie. Nemhart across midcourt. Tied up at the buzzer. Tipped up. No. Auburn wins. The Tigers are going to the championship. The Tigers are going to play for the SEC title tomorrow. Unbelievable win. Great coaching job. Use of the bench. Took the ball at places we could get shots late, late in the shot clock. It's just a wonderful job by this team that, oh, they were really playing defense late in the game. Unbelievable defense, too. We never went out of the man-to-man -man one time. For the first time since 2000, Auburn will play in the championship game, and they'll get either Kentucky or Tennessee as the, Gator, as the Tigers hold on against the Gators, 65-62. Auburn wins it, and the Tigers will play tomorrow for their first SEC title since. 1985, is that I right? Think, uh, it, well, we were there two twice in a row. <laughs> we won it once and lost it once. I can't remember the year. Well, I'll be sitting next to the man who won it last. Well, the reason I was late getting back in half, Kenny Walker, the guy that made the shot in 1985 to beat us, is holding me out there. I told him, you can't kill me. They, I got to get back to the radio. <laughs> and you just barely made I didn't it. didn't make it. Auburn, 65. Florida, 62. I just feel like I, I just work um, through the summer, um, through the offseason, and just try to get my, best, myself in the best position to be able to make plays. And my teammates believe in me, my coaches believe in me, and they put, give me the ball, and then I make plays. It was Jared in the first half. It was you in the second half, Bryce. Why are you able to, when things aren't going your way, still maintain your confidence as a shooter? Um, I have unbelievable teammates. You know, I have a great point guard, one of the greatest point guards in the country. And um, no matter how many shots I miss or make, they still feed me confidence, and they believe in me like I made 10 in a row, even though I probably missed a lot. But I just have good teammates, and they just trust in me. Let's talk quickly about the quick ball release that he has. There was a moment where you made a three earlier in this game, in the second mm -hmm. half, and he got the ball to you so quickly. What is it like having that? Um, it's just the chemistry. Uh, he's a junior. I'm a senior. We've been playing with each other for the last three years, and, um, you know, we just got better every year, you know, and that's, that's what it's all about, getting better as a team, getting better as individuals. Jared, we talked about this. You wanted an opportunity to make a run in this SEC tournament. You felt like this team could win it. Now here you are with an opportunity to play for the SEC tournament championship. How did you guys get to this point? Um, I think we're starting to play our best basketball in March um, going into the, um, the regular season and coming into the, conf um, the conference tournament. We've been doing a good job defending, rebounding, making shots, so you know we're going to be excited for tomorrow. Why should nobody count your team out? Um, just because I feel like we're very dangerous. You know, we're, we're, we're small, but we're fast. We can shoot it better than anybody in the country. And um, it's hard to stay in front of us. It's hard to stay in front of our point guard, hard to stay in front of um, our entire team. So I feel like quickness is our advantage. This is pretty fun, right? Yeah, definitely. It's definitely a lot of fun, yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll let these guys go have some fun. But your confidence in Jared Harper to close out the game. Talk about that decision that you made. You know what? With the, with, with the amount of time left in the, in, 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 the, in the game, I just wanted to open the floor for Jared. And whatever he did, Jimmy, I'm going to live with. Absolutely. If he wanted, if he felt like it, he could go by, go by, and we had a backside rebound. If he wanted to pull, I'm living and dying with my guys. They, they're the ones that got us here. And uh, Jared Harper had a, a historic game. He lined him up. He knocked it down. And, you know, I, I would have loved for them not to be able to, you know, get the ball and blow it up the floor out of the timeout. But I trust my players. Have you ever had a guy make more big shots in your tenure? You've had some good ones. I'm thinking Chris Lofton off the top of my right. head, but most especially at Auburn, Jared Harper is a big play maker, yep. and he, he is delivering for you here in Nashville. Every little guy out there has got to be rooting for Jared Harper. Undersized, underappreciated, undervalued. He's not on the Bob Cousy watch list. He's not. Why not? And, and I tell you what, he's, he's, got, he's got courage. He's not afraid of the moment. He's our, he's, he's our leader, and he makes other guys better, and he's got a big chip on his shoulder. 
Bruce, I want to ask you about your defense. You told me before the ball game, you got to stay pressed up, impact the ball screens. Think about this, coach. You took almost 20 more shots in this ball game than Florida because of the turnovers that you forced. I don't think we give enough credit to your defense, but talk about what that did for you in this ball game today. Jimmy, I wasn't sure we could win the game because we played so well defensively the first time. Played my hand. I played my cards. Yep. We were trying to impact ball screens in the first half by sending them into them. Mike was ready for it. Shot 70%. They were comfortable. In the second half, we kept it more on the side. We kept it in our strong hand. I think the adjustment bothered Florida. We were a little deeper team. Yep. Florida was gassed at the end. The kid was coming. Kids were coming over the bench. Coach are tired. Keep, then then the, way to, the way to win the game is you exhaust yourself. Just think about what they've got, yeah. how they're I, feeling. And I know you're going to go in and you're going to talk to your guys and that, that last second thing, but just remember this. It's been 19 years since Auburn got to this point, a conference wow. tournament final. Congratulations. We're, this guy here knows what I'm talking about. We are the have-nots. Jimmy, you know what it was like the same way as a coach. Yeah. It's Tennessee, it's Florence, Kentucky. Every now and then, Ole Miss or Auburn, we joined the dance card. We're not, we're not just a top 25 team. We're a top 25 program.